Hey, good evening, everybody. Just wanted to do a quick mail day video. I've got a package from Brandt, package number two, and a one card mail day that I've cracked open already. I had to reshoot this video because I totally mispronounced the name of this. But uh, let's get right to it real quick. It's going to be a pretty quick video, but there's a couple of cards in here that I'm super stoked about. So excited to show you. I got a really nice deal on this one. This I think I got for four dollars, and this is from 1995 Select Certified. This is the Certified Potential, but I was able to score the Potential Unlimited Edition, which is numbered out of just 903. The regular insert of this, I believe, is numbered to like 1995 or something along those lines. I have to go look it up, but there's twice as many. I got the lower number one for even cheaper. And I got the higher numbered one years ago. So really excited about that. That is a awesome looking card right there. Let's get into this package from Brandt. Now, as you know, Brandt is a fellow Alex Rodriguez collector and he's starting to um, purge some of his collection. Um, not quite to the level of Tanner who is getting rid of everything, but um, I've been working on some deals with Brandt and uh, we've had some discussions about you know what we're looking to uh, achieve over a long-term basis but in here is going to be a card that oh man I'm so excited to see this and I know uh, one of my fellow collectors or my, my, my buddy my fellow collector that collects Barry Larkin is going to be a little bit jealous of this one but I will tell you I will uh, throw something out at the end so let's get right into it I haven't seen these in person yet so I'm really excited to show everybody. I'm just going to go one at a time here. I know he threw in some base card versions in here as well for me, so going to, uh, everything's kind of taped together, so let's uh, just give me a minute here to get the tape off. <clears throat> really been enjoying all the videos everybody's posting up, uh, by the way, all the top Top tens. This when I came up with the idea for top tens. I, um, this is better than I expected. So I'm really excited to see what uh, people people continue to post. So thank you to all those that have posted so far. They are amazing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> these are incredible. Okay, so let's start with. Uh, we'll start from some of the base cards and work our way up. We got a lot of tape on it, so I have to forgive me for that. We'll get some of this tape off here. The first one is from 1998. Eight pinnacle inside. This is just one of the base cards. This is the ground rule double. I believe this is like a maybe a little bit shorter printed version of just the base card number 139. We also have this base card over here. It's from the same set. This is the higher numbered one. Jeez, Brant, you put enough tape on here, buddy? <laughs> you knew I was going to do a mail day, I think, and you wanted to make it more challenging for me making work for my cards I can appreciate that all right here's the other base card from that set card number three appropriately numbered being that A-Rod's jersey is number three here's number three base card I like the little stats on the side here from that year from 97 it's funny he only hit three only he only hit 300 after 1996 where he hit 350 uh, a little over 350 should have won the MVP but uh, it's funny how that ends up working out. So here's the just the club edition, club edition of that base card right here. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, these cards are amazing. Oh wow, he uh, he really hooked me up here. He threw an extra one in there. What a nice guy. All right, so I've got the ground rule double club edition, and then the diamond edition of both cards look at that Ooh, man that looks great i don't have the right kind of light in here but look at that beautiful card and he was nice enough to include this one without me knowing it what a nice guy ran you're awesome dude awesome card ground road double all right i think you're gonna see where this next one's gonna go oh man all right so here's the stars and steel base card Brent was nice enough to send me a big box of A-Rod cards a long time ago, so I have this base card in my collection already. Really nice to have another one. And maybe one of my students would love to have one too, I doubt that. 
Most people probably don't even know who that is. Uh, here's the just the base gold trim version. I bet everybody can guess what's coming next. Yep, the domed gold. Look at that thing, man. I haven't even seen one on eBay before. This is the first time I've ever seen this card in a picture or in person. Oh, the back too. Dang. Wow. I gotta take this out of here. You guys are not lying. A lot of some people included this in their these this card in their videos. My goodness, look at this thing. Wow. 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 That is incredible. That is incredible. I know Nathan had this in his top ten. That is awesome. Look at that. Alright, this next one I don't even wow. Yep. I don't think I'd ever, I never thought I'd really have this card. I, I missed out on one a couple years ago, and I regret not paying more. I don't think it was this card either. I think it was the opposite version, but here's the front. There's Barry Larkin, Team 98 Pinnacle Plus, Team Pinnacle Gold. There's A-Rod on the back. Look at that. Awesome, awesome. That is incredible. So the only thing I'm going to say, this is to my buddy Sean who collects Barry Larkin. If you ever find the the um, foil side of A-Rod and you want to swap for the foil side of Barry Larkin, you let me know. That's the only way this card's ever going anywhere, but man, this is awesome. Brant, thank you so much, man. I, I can't even begin to tell you how thankful I am to have this deal made and for including that extra card in there. Uh, that, was, that was, yeah, this community is awesome. That's all I got to say about that. So thank you all for watching. I'll have a video up in a couple days after everybody's uh, top tens are up and see if I can think of another one to throw out uh, and we'll talk again soon. See ya.